Sheet metal replacement is the most challenging part of any automotive restoration. All the panels on this 1967 Firebird, including the floors and quarter panels, were completely rotted. In this video, I'm going to show how using a Hypertherm PowerMax 45 plasma cutting system saved many hours of labor when it was time to remove the old panels on this Firebird in order to take it from Rusty Hulk to Pristine Show Car. This is what we started with, 1967 Pontiac Firebird, pretty rotted in the floors. The first thing I had to do was cut out the seat platforms. This was done by running the PowerMax 45 cutting torch along the edge of the bottom corner of the seat platform. It was just as easy as drawing a line. The PowerMax patented drag tip allows you to drag the torch directly on the metal, making it easy to get a nice, steady, clean cut. The floor on the Firebird is pretty rotted. It's got lots of holes. So I've got the PowerMax set on expanded metal mode. By using expanded metal mode, the system senses the loss of current flow through the metal and switches back to pilot current at high speed to maintain the arc. Once the torch crosses the hole in the metal, the current rapidly ramps back up. This makes it easy to cleanly cut across rusty metal panels. Here I am using the PowerMax 45 to cut around the frame rails on the old floor pan of the Firebird. I'm using a piece of metal and running my PowerMax torch along it. It gives me a nice clean line cutting around these. The floor pan has been completely removed from the Firebird. I use the PowerMax 45 for every bit of cutting that needed to be done, which included removing the metal ribbon of spot welds that was attached to the rockers, the bottom of the firewall, and on the frame rails. If you look at the rockers and the top of the frame rails, you'll see just how clean a job it was to remove those spot welds using the plasma. And here's the Dynacorn One Piece 4 Pan installed in the Firebird. For the restoration on this car, I'm replacing one panel at a time. The floor pan has been the first thing that has been removed and replaced. Next, I'm going to move on to the trunk. Take note of the rebar welded in the car. I installed this before the floor pan was even cut out. This makes sure the structure of the car stays where it needs to be. Because of the way the GMS body is put together, I only tack in the trunk floor. This will hold together the back end of the car while I remove the quarters and replace them one quarter panel at a time. Once the quarters and the tail light panel are all tacked into place, adjusted where they need to be, that's when I'll weld everything up nice and solid. Removing exterior panels can be a real hassle, but the PowerMax 45 made it quick and easy to cut a nice, straight, clean line through the quarter panel of the Firebird. As with any cutting procedure, know what's behind the metal you're cutting. See my cut line? See how it goes to the right? I had to make sure not to cut through the support for the B-pillar. When you want to get the job done quickly, plasma is the way to go. Making the cut from the top of the quarter to the front of the rear wheel well took just under a minute. Notice how the metal over the top of the wheel well is pretty rusty. When I'm ready to make my cut over that wheel well, I'll switch the machine back into expanded metal mode.
After a few days of fitting, last night I welded the quarter panel on the car. Body line seems to match up pretty good. Got a nice big gap on the door, which was what we were looking for because uh, once I'm done doing body work on the door jam to cover up those welds and paint and everything, we'll probably be down to the 3 16th door gap that we're looking for. But things are lining up pretty good here. Getting ready to mount the other side of the car. Now I'm cutting away the corner panel on the passenger side. It's cutting nice and clean, but it's not cutting through to the inner framework that's underneath that skin. Automotive restoration projects always take longer than you originally planned. So it's really great to have tools that make the job easier and make it go faster. It's not simply to remove the sheet metal panels, it's to remove them correctly. If the panels aren't removed correctly, you can end up creating more work. I can safely say using the PowerMax system to remove the old panels on the Firebird was the easiest part of this restoration.